It is week five of the NFL season and week four of cooking with Carm. Guys, five and old card coming up here. I've been in the kitchen all week measuring everything, and we have put together, or I have put together, five games. As long as they're winners, that's all that really matters. Guys, before we get to this cooking with Carm segment, if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. Uh, also, can hit the like button and drop a comment in the comment section below. And away we go. We are going to start it off with the Jacksonville Jaguars minus three. Yeah, it's not often you see a 0-4 team favored. But you have to consider the fact the Jags started the season on the road, losing to Miami with Tua in a game that they probably should have beaten the Dolphins. Uh, then a loss to the Browns in their only home game uh, thus far. Another close one for them. They get blown out by the Bills. Uh, and then losing the last minute to the uh, Texans last time out. It's a welcome sign that they get a Colts team that they uh, isn't 100% healthy right now. Richardson, Taylor, and uh, one that they've beaten four of the last five meetings, including both games last year in a sweep. Jacksonville, minus three. We're going to London for this one. Yes, we are crossing the pond. The Minnesota Vikings, minus two and a half in this one. This one's being played in London, like I mentioned, and it's hard to find any fault with this Vikings offense thus far this season. Jefferson's sure to get a lot of attention from that Jets D, but Jordan Addison's been just as good. He had a really good game last time out uh, to give them another layer of uh, receiving depth. And as good as the Jets D has been, I don't think their offense is going to be able to keep up with the Vikings offense. They struggled last week in a loss to the Broncos as a big favorite. They're losing this one across the pond. Give me the Vikings minus two and a half. Denver Broncos. Speaking of the Broncos, they get the Raiders uh, this weekend and Devontae Adams misses this one with a hamstring injury. Trust me, guys, that hamstring is going to be fully fine if this guy gets traded to KC or Baltimore. He'll be up and running in no time. And I don't think mustache man uh, Gardner Minshew can do it for, for this uh, Raiders team this weekend. Given the fact the Raiders have dominated the Broncos, they've won the last eight games in this series. We're going to nix that streak. You see what I did there, guys? Nick, we're going to nix that streak. We are taking the Broncos here. They're favored for a reason. Minus three. They get the win over the Raiders. All right, we're switching it up, guys. Washington Commanders minus three. So apparently the Commanders are a good football team and more so than what anyone, including myself, thought uh, at the start of the season. They start off with a loss uh, 37 to 20 in Tampa Bay, but they've reeled off wins and scored 101 points in the last three games against the Giants, the Bengals, and the Cardinals. I'm going to ride that streak instead of getting in front of a train. Give me the Washington Commanders, minus three. And finally, we are going to finish it off with the Seattle Seahawks, lane six in this one. This will likely hit six and a half by game time. Let's make a couple things clear here, guys. Number one, the Giants aren't the Detroit Lions. And number two, Danny Dimes is not Jared Goff. The Seattle D is going to bounce back from allowing 42 points and get back in the win column here against a New York team that is averaging 15 points per game thus far this season. Give me Seattle minus six as the fifth of five winners on this week's edition of cooking with carm there you have it guys jacksonville minus three minnesota vikings minus two and a half denver minus three washington minus three and seattle minus six i may be eating chalk but i'm going to be eating good when this goes five and oh Guys, a great deal over at Wager Talk. Get a seven-day all-access package for only $77. It's $11 a day. The normal one-day all-access is normally $39. So this is a great deal. Uh, you're going to get college football from me, 4-0 last weekend. NFL winning weekend last week. NHL kicks off on Friday. So uh, grab that seven-day all-access and join me for a winning week of plays. Hit that subscribe button, guys, uh, one more time. And for myself and the Wager Talk family, good luck with your plays this weekend.